you. I'm looking at shit that look like algebra father. That might be my last straw for this week. Good morning, my loves. It is Monday. Monday, October 28, 11, 14. We are getting out of the spookiness season and I've still not done any fall activity. Uh, but I feel like because I was not born in a place that celebrates Halloween, so I really, and nor a place that celebrates the fall season, I feel like it's technically not my fault that I don't, like I don't get into the habit of like celebrating uh, Halloween or doing the fall like activities. Okay, I have a class 11.30 and I might be running late, but I do have a power scooter. That gets me anywhere within campus of course at a reasonable time mm. and there is the alarm going up stop i genuinely want to try my i got a pr package from lancome and i genuinely wanted to try the different fall uh lipstick that they sent but i didn't plan for that i literally just removed that right, right now so i'm gonna do this for like a different makeup I'm going to do it for like a makeup video and try out their the lip gloss, I mean the lipsticks and lip filler they sent to me because I want to change, I'm so used to this lip, to this lip um, combo. This is my go-to lip combo every time, everywhere. The only thing I would do on special occasions are like my um, a red lipstick. Just very small. Not noticeable eyeliner. I was not gonna record today. Cause I was gonna be like, oh, I should do what I wear in a week. But then I was like, I don't wanna do that cause my hair is not cute. I was supposed to braid somebody's hair this past weekend, which was why I did not braid mine. But their hair did not arrive on time. So that was just kind of like a bummer. But I'm going to just find time to braid my hair at the end of this week. Cause I truly do not like this hair anymore and it's so rough and I just don't feel pretty in it anymore. And I can't be having hair depression with school depression. So I have to, I already bought the attachment I want to do. I'm going back to doing like my ginger hair color. I'm going to pop up pictures of the hair color I used to do before, which is just the attachment in 350, in color 350. And that used to be so cute. And I think it's going to be so cute for fall. So I want to do that. Uh, but today's video, this week's vlog is just going to be me trying my possible best to study in different places and hang out with friends. So you're just going to spend a couple of days with me as I try to find my friendship life back, my social life back, because I'm such a loner, guys. Like, 11.17, I'm yapping too much. Let's go. I still want to be yapping like I'm not already late. Um, what was I saying? Yeah. I feel like I literally just leave my life alone at Stanford without like hanging out with friends and I truly need to stop doing that because I have like individual friends and yes it's very difficult trying to find time to meet but I need to put more effort I feel like I, I'm not as intentional with my friendship as I should be Hoodie. I was gonna wear this Alchemy hoodie let's see how that's gonna look I'm running out of breath. Where's my glasses? Guys, we're late. It's section and I really do not, but I didn't go to section last week, so. This is cute. Guys, this is really cute. This is so slay. I'm gonna get a nipple patch. All right, guys. All right. All right. Let's go. Oh, I need to make coffee because I'm sort of. Should I just buy coffee? But then I can't hold coffee. And then oh, I'm just going to grab water. And I am running out of water. Okay, guys, let's go.
I was I doing so much work. I totally forgot I have class at one thirty, and I checked the time now. It's one twenty-five, so I have to run my master class. I don't realize how much work I have to do until I start from the work, and I underestimate. I always underestimate the time it will take me to get work done. And now I have a head, but but we're good. This class is the only class that is. This class and my Psych 60, Stat 60 and Psych 60 are the class that are fighting me the most. But I know I just need to like lock in and study and like catch up. I need to catch up on Stat 60 and I'm gonna be good at this. Oh, this is still very stressful. When I quit, I'm quitting my fondest job this Friday. So. I know I'm gonna have more time to play, to study without having them stressing me out. They just take this mental toll for me that I don't like at all. But anyways, yeah, that's that's for my staff. Then when my friend texted me and she was like, "Why did I get a 13 out of 25 in my um in my class?" I said, "Me, I got 14 out of 25." So we're both in the same shoe. I'm a, since I'm obviously failing class left to, left and right now. I don't know what the fuck is going on. So, <laughs> hey, statistic is not cute. And my own brain, no, my thing is like my brain does not work in computing ways. Like the only thing I use my computer for is to edit, write, uh, write. Like literally, if you tell me to write paper, oh, cause I will write your paper. I will write the paper. Tell me to write five hundred paper. I will write. It's no problem. But when you started to be coding, I'm doing. Leave me alone. I'm looking at shit that look like algebra father like leave me alone oh. at least even if it's math if i can do algebra this one is not even math it's coding coding is just annoying and then they are adding coding and math and bar graph and plot are you mad <sighs> to update you guys but i'm at dance practice everybody say hi to the youtube you are so work with saying hi can we say hi better <laughs> <laughs> and i totally forgot to update you about what was going on in my life but here's my you can be in it though why are you hiding okay guys longer. i'll talk to you guys tomorrow I'm bye bye loves it's 8 58 i am absolutely late for class but i do not care um i'm very tired today siri no what's it called what was i saying i'm tired and I know it's my hormones kicking in because my period is next week and I'm getting so tired and like no motivation to do anything. I need to persevere and today is my is one of my longest day. I think it's my busiest day actually. Yeah, it's my busiest day but not the longest day. Wednesdays are my longest day since I've worked till 7.30. This one is just back to back. Oh. I made coffee in my bag somewhere and yeah i just didn't want to like forget about you guys and make sure i was actually updating you guys but this scarf is so ugly i didn't do it right today at all very very tired i said i'm tired it's just cold it's starting to drop the degrees I'm in a group. I'm in a group for like two. I'm feeling a tad bit better. I'm on call um, with my emotional support. And um, yeah, I'm about to go sleep, so I'll cut the camera. I'm so tired, guys. Like, I'm so tired. My muscles hurt bad. Like it feels like they weigh a lot and they're all just like inside my body. So 
everything to show everything is difficult not difficult it's just taking me more time to do anything like to raise my hand to tie it. this is a lot I'm not gonna lie guys I don't like this and this would happen for like a week and my cramps will start kicking in like Thursday but and then I would have intense cramps on Monday but my period is not gonna come if, even when I start taking my blood pills and the period is not gonna come till Wednesday but heavy <laughs> How are you? Um, you okay. work? Yeah. Study <gasps> times. Do you want to go? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's perfect. Okay. <laughs> that's perfect. <laughs> that's literally how you. I, I try to see my friends. Because we never have time to see each other. Then I need to adjust for Stella Mark. Salamats. I need to practice saying my name correctly. The way I don't want to go to this class right now, but on my last quiz, I got a 14 out of 25, which is failing. So I need to go to class and listen and take notes. Unfortunately, I need to be a student. <laughs> and I need to catch up and, well, not to catch up, I need to revise, is what I need to do. Hi guys, I'm not eating since morning, so now I'm eating, and um, Mr. Darcy is on his way to come get me, because I ate it here. I got another egg rice glue on my head. Rice and stew, all day, all night. Good morning, my loves. It is actually 8 a.m. But I've been up since like 6. Doing some stuff in the house. I'm currently bo boiling rice. I think I showed you guys when I was in the kitchen. But this morning, I like... Like a part, a part of my morning was like dedicated to like responding to... I don't think I've had so much response to comments i mean to a video the way my last video like the comments under it is like what it feels so youtuber like that's what i see on the other big youtubers on um, youtube and i'm like oh my god because it's like i know people watch my videos but moving from when the silent watchers start becoming commenters I feel like I've won your heart. Like it feels like an achievement. Cause that's the same with me. Like before I started like watching Maya, I would watch Maya a lot, but I'll usually not comment. Now I'm like the one to like I would comment if I'm like where I can comment it. If I just feel strongly about something, I would comment. Yeah. I I feel really good guys. Like I'm not going to lie, you guys make me feel so good. And Busola is so sweet, like, and like, she would like put the time, the video timestamp to like refer to what she's talking about. And that is just so odd fam coded, like, yeah, I just feel good about that. But, um, what's the plan for today? You guys know my period is next week. So we know this week is going to be the worst of it all before my actual period shenanigans start. My emotions are going to be all over the place. PCS is not cute at all. I'm currently drinking um, lemon water um, with hot water and honey. Honey to make it palatable to the tongue because it would look like drinking something sour. Exactly. For this video specifically, I'm trying to not record a lot in the house, but I have things to say to you when I'm at home. And I want to tell you guys when I'm at home, you know? Like coming on camera with like me looking like this. I've not washed my face. I just put lip balm on because I don't want to have crusty lips at the very least. But my research paper, I think I told you guys like a brief summary of what my capstone is. Basically, my capstone is 
it's like this final project that you have to do for your major but you can either do it your junior year which is your third year of college or your senior year which is your fourth year of college now for my uh um african viewers i know we don't do junior or whatever so freshman or frosh is first year sophomore is second year junior is third year and senior is um fourth year so it's usually four years of college and um anything after that or if you don't finish your undergrad um requirements in those four years which is absolutely fine do not let anybody make you think you're supposed to finish college in four years like no go at your pace and go at your money space hmm? even though you don't have money to pay for extra year and your school is not covering it make sure you finish it in those four years or you get scholarship okay but um anything after fifth year is like super senior or senior plus basically or grad school if you're going to grad school but if you're still com completing your undergrad then that's what it is post grad grad blah 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 um man is texting us what oh i forget to <laughs> yeah i'm fine <laughs> hello i forgot i texted that my heater is back on so for stanford we really have we have a central um central ac but we have heaters in our room but they don't turn it on you can't turn it on by yourself they don't turn it on to um and like beginning of november but it started getting really cold well it's already beginning of november because it's october 30 so it's the month and the month is ended but i just um my boyfriend always just goes why don't you guys have heaters and i was like we do have it but it's not on yet and he still said that this morning and then i went to close my window because it was freezing in here and the heater burnt my leg because i didn't know they turned it on so i was like oh my god the heaters are on i burnt my leg and it's like shit are you okay and i'm like sorry i forgot that i said that yeah uh, but what's my color what was i talking about Oh yeah, my capstone project then is um, doing a research on get ready with me trends on TikTok specifically with content creators. So how get ready with me's have them how it influences their sense of self. Basically, that was what I started off with. But basically, I'm I think I'm, my research is helping me find out that because I'm mostly interviewing black women because that's what I have access to. That's what I care about. Love you, other counterparts, but. You know, <laughs> still love y'all, but favoritism, yes. What's it called? Uh, get ready with me is always to like, you know, bridge the beauty, the societal beauty standards, creating a community with black community, having black girls do like see representation and like my most focus now well not most focus but like what i'm loving right now or what like i wish we could push more is like you know how like white people do or white girls like do that girl with me where it's just like i just woke up like i woke up looking like this and it's like for black women we can't necessarily come on the screen and look like this because it's like i wake up and everything is a mess and coming on screen like that is not palatable like me even saying i look a mess or I can't just wake up and look like this is already showing how it's like embedded in the way we think because it's like who decides what's messy like just because my hair is all over the place it's not slicked back my face is more ashy like if it's ashy you can see my lips are crusty like it's more obvious it's just insane so I would not like I was like oh let me go wash my face and put cream on my face I don't care I don't care I will be if I do get ready with me on TikTok, if I say get ready with me, you are getting ready with me. So my face is ashy and then it's going to stop being ashy after the video when I've already gotten ready. She gets. Like I don't need to like prep, get ready. I don't need to feel the need. Like you can do it if you want. Like if you're not the type of person to like show that kind of vulnerability on camera, slay. Like, but the fact that it is like enforced on us to kind of want to like prep to get ready before we show that we're getting ready it's just insane to me because it's just pushing the um messy black look like we are not like we can't like look slick and, and at our natural state and it's just like middle finger up down yeah that is laundry but it's probably not going to be done set a 10 minute timer the timer for the laundry is weird thank you Okay, I've done yapping.
yeah so i am still at home i have a class at 1 30 and i am ready for the class thank heaven but i so tired my muscles are so weak i have like random sore spots all around my body but the one that is like prevalent and like my battery okay i was dying i keep thinking my battery is like not lasting anymore but i forget that i'm recording more so of course the battery is like taking more energy and work and i'm hot but i don't know if it's because it's hot in my room i opened up the windows i went to sleep i went back to sleep and i had to cancel on my friend because we're supposed to meet today uh, we're supposed to meet at like 10 30 and yes i could have moved it to like 11 and still met but i didn't think that was smart at all like i didn't think me going out and being out was gonna because I, I have work till 7 30 so i'm going to be out for a long time and if i went out i'm just gonna get so irritated and so annoyed to be outside not so much i still have not caught up i don't have the time i don't have the time to cry i don't i genuinely don't and i'm just gonna piss myself off if i actually have a breakdown right now and i try to extend more grace to myself when i know like my hormones are obviously intensifying everything and it just pisses me off see how i made my lips match my clothes i like the natural color of my lips also i need a a flask that can keep hot things because it's a kind of a winter and for my period i just love taking like warm <coughs> hot drinks and I'm not paying five dollars to get tea at any cafe it's tea like I'm buying one box of tea for that same amount of price so I'm not going to be buying one cup of tea from any place for four to five dollars for no freaking reason it's currently 1 13 my class is literally right there I don't like this at all at all i just don't like feeling like this it's so frustrating you didn't even charge what have you not been doing The state of these sneakers is actually so sad. I have other sneakers, but that's just my go-to sneakers and I should buy another one similar to it so I don't ruin this one to its last beat that it's already ruined to. <sighs> so tired. That was so tired. Like, the energy that that just took was insane. Second leg. I got like a brand pack from Intelligence Change. Have you ever heard of the five minute journal? I love how I'm about to go on the freaking tangent. This is the five minute journal and it looks like this. Oh, I've moved that page like this. I used to use it like religi religiously my frosh year and I kind of just, oh, I used it a lot. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, because I'm I'm a good journal girl, but I'm not a I'm a good diary girl, not a journal girl. But like they sent me a whole pack, the weekly love planner, three times happier journal, the productivity planner. 
lastly, mindful affirmation and let's get closer. I really do want to record a video with it. Let's get closer. I was going to do one. Well, like the best, well, not best, but one of like the best options was to do one with my boyfriend. But then I don't want to put my boyfriend on media at all. But it comes with like three cards. The green is close, is close, is in the introductory questions that build trust and make you more comfortable and make you well, more comfortable with each other. Yellow is closer, personal questions that encourage you to share your feelings and stressing your bond. And closest is red and is deep questions that uncover your rawest emotions, wildest dreams and biggest secrets. My boyfriend and I have played this. It's very cute. You just ask each other questions and kind of like like for the green is what is the first thing you noticed about me and there is like there are like wild cards inside it and this one said sit close to each other old hands and stare into each other's eyes for five minutes but we both have adhd so we can't do that for too long but what we do like is we would like play our favorite music which is um forever sweet by dotty and we would just sit in a in a hug and just hum to the song. Yeah. It'd be cute. The yellow, what is something I've done for you that you're grateful for? And then red, what emotions do you experience the most? How do you relieve stress? So yeah, they're like very cute things to do. Like when you guys wanna like actually sit together and get closer. And then mindful affirmation. It's just this big cute card. And let me see which one I should actually do for today. I'm picking one from the middle. I let go of everything and everyone that doesn't deserve me in a positive way. Hmm, how does that relate to me? I feel like the only way, the only thing that I'm, I can think of right now is like the friendship situation I was talking about in my last video. But I don't think it's not like they don't deserve me in a positive way. But it's like I let go of that, you know? Let's see another one. I have the courage to face my fears. My fears right now are stat 60. I'm not gonna lie. I just feel like my brain does not work in a computing way. I know I've told you guys this a lot. Like, if I, like even math, like... Even math, I will do. Like, math, I'm going to get my brain to do. Like, holding just... Like, I would sit down and write for hours. Like, I love writing. I love analysis. I love claims. I just love putting my thoughts together. I love connecting the dots. I love taking from here, taking from here, taking from here, and connecting it together and see what works and what's the new findings. That I love. Statistic plus coding. Bar graphs. Things that I don't understand. You lost me. You lost me. And I'm still behind. I'm trying to... Okay. And I'm still very much behind. I think it's going to fall again. And I'm trying my possible best to play catch-up. But I can't even play catch-ups. I know I just need to... Sim the same thing I did with chapter 4 in my last video. I just need to sit down and lock in. And I know I'm going to like finish chapter 5, they're on chapter 7, and I've not started chapter 5. My mouth is getting so dry also. I'm absolutely late for- no, I'm not. It's 121. The class is like right there. And I- ugh, there's a lot I want to do. This is so cute. <laughs> it's technically it's 31, but we don't have 31 in every- so technically today is a 30 days of September, April, June, and tomorrow is my, how many months anniversary? I think seven. Oh, wow. I don't know if I should take this jacket. I don't know if I'm going to get cold or I should just take a scarf. I think I'll do a scarf. Because a scarf I could always throw in my bag if I don't want to wear again. But a jacket is just going to be like a... Problem. Let's try to do the cute way that I saw on Instagram. That 
doesn't look cute, but it's not in my face or in my way too much. So I'm not too mad. I need AirPods, but I should be getting one next month. Okay, I'm done yapping. Thank you guys so much for listening to me and now responding to me. Makes me feel really good. And I feel like <laughs> you guys are... <laughs> I talk to you guys more than I talk to my in-person friends. It saves a lot. That saves a, a ton lot, guys. Did I tell you guys I was babysitting? Um, I was dog sitting this weekend. If I didn't, I'm pretty sure I did already. But I am dog sitting this weekend. I'm dog sitting a lab, a Labrador Retriever. <sighs> I'm dog sitting for money. I have this app called Rover. My friend, my love, Amaya told me about it and like i opened this since like like two months ago and i just never got any appointments also it's like i only have co i've only babysat uh kovu so i have experience with kovu but uh what's it called somebody uh i got an appointment yesterday and i was like i'm gonna start getting appointments but my has like lots of dogs were not like lots but i could take dogs from her also and i just need the love from dogs me? I'll babysit your dog for free. If you're not giving me money to babysit the dog, take my heart. Take my heart and my roommates are cool with it. And it, I mean, it's going to be in my room at the end of the day. But yeah, I'm probably going to take Bruno for a couple of days also. It's one of the dogs Maya has. But love dogs so much. I can't believe I'm the one now shouting I love dogs because I used to be so scared of dog in Nigeria. Okay, it's 124. Let's go now. I yapped for eight minutes, guys. It's 2.28. I did leave class early because they're working on labs and I'm behind because I obviously don't know I've not done the chapters that I can use to do the lab. So they're on lab 3C, but I've not done chapter 5. I just finished chapter 4 and I don't even think I understood what was going on in chapter 4. So lab 3A and 3 to 3C, the concept that is there is from chapters 5 to chapter 7. So I can't understand what the hell they're doing. They're on, chapter, they're on lab 3C. I've not even opened cha uh, lab 3A. So I'm going to do chapter 5 right now. I have work at 4.30. I wanted to take the first sip of my Jamba in front of you guys. This large is $12.69. Medium is $11.99. Do you see the madness? Medium is $11.99. But the large is 1269 that's not even a dollar difference but it's capitalism and this is how capitalism work and i know it works like that but i care but like i don't care like i'm still gonna get myself jump you know so yeah let's get to work on call with my emotional support we love him and we're literally just talking about my youtube growth in the comment section also <laughs> and then the girl that said i'll pay you as much as i can by watching your video because i told you guys that you need to watch my videos so i can't get money but yeah i love you guys so much i am setting up my i want to take my dmv test by november 30 so you guys we need to you need to hold me accountable for that i need to start Every video, I need to show you guys approve of me doing the test and what I got on the test. And yes, even if I fail, that's the growth process. I, I am a horrible test taker. I'm saying that from now. I don't know how to take tests because I get test anxiety and I, I choose the wrong answer even though I know the right answer. That always happens. Which is why I suck at taking the driver's test. You guys can know how many times I've taken the driver's test. I've taken it two times in Cali and one time in um, Jersey and I failed three times. This is me saying it's online. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I failed it three times. It is easy. I just suck at taking tests. I start shaking, especially when it's timed. I start shaking, guys. So, 
my boyfriend has made it a a goal in life to make sure I have my license. I I say my boyfriend a lot. Shut the hell up. Anyways, he's made it a goal in life to make sure I get. Bulu can shut up. To make sure I get my driver's license by when I um around my twenty one year kind of gap. So. In every video i need to take a test and you guys need to like hold me accountable you need to go and yell in the comment section and be like where is the where is the practice test because by november 30 i want to take um i want to take the test permit and i need to pass it so yeah so i'm making my appointments but right now the goal is to work on course cards so i absolutely forget my forgot my clothes inside the laundry but i'm sure it's fine I've never tried round table before, round table pizza, and my school just added it to our like little, not cafeteria, but like public cafeteria kind of. I don't even know what they else to call this place. It's just where we buy food that is not from the dining you know. hall. Just had it round table, and I've never had it before. But basically, it's just like a full pizza, but you can get it in many size, like big sizes. Like it's just like a, the smallest one is like a personalized round pizza. Why is one ten dollar ninety? That's eleven dollars. I could go get pizza for like what about three dollars or four dollars tops at uh three hours. But I've been craving pizza and this is the closest to me. I don't wanna walk all the way to three hours because I'm not feeling three hours pizza. I want to try something new. So I'm gonna see if I like this round pizza. When it comes, I'm gonna show you guys. But I saw it on somebody else's table and it looked really really nice. They said to come back and get it in 10 minutes. But the fact that it's ten dollars ninety cents, eleven dollars, it's insane to me. Yeah, I just gonna say that. But I'm doing so good on my uh mushroom color. I put my head in the mind space of I am going to understand this stat and I am going to do it. So I'm literally like learning it. Like I have a place that I could just like check to confirm if I'm good and stuff like that. But I'm literally like reading, taking notes and I'm, I think I'm doing good so far but I'm still on like chapter 5.3 and on the chapter 5 alone there are like 14 episodes under chapter 5 so we're still doing that. This looks so good. This looks so good guys. I love me a good cheesy but with the crust pizza. Like guys this is so this looks so good guys it better taste the same hmm. i expected it to be more milky i don't know how to explain it like your specific pizza that i have it's very good but like there's this pizza i had once and i've never tasted a pizza like it ever again i don't even remember where i had it from but i had this like doughy milky taste that balanced well with like the cheese i only do cheese pizza also mm. but this is close maybe if it had more dough then I'll taste the milkiness or the donuts but this is so good mm. the crust is crusty but like for ten dollars well eleven dollars no it's not eleven dollars good because Domino's large is like fourteen dollars.
that. Like my camera zooms into me. My battery is on one bar, which means I've been recording very well. So the part of that is 422. I don't stop work till 430, but I technically don't have work since I don't have any appointment. So I'm gonna finish my round table and yap to you guys. I know yap per se, but I was just listening to autumn, like full vibe music. Well, I was literally Googling because I wanted to this week to be like fall, like a fall week in my life, like an autumn week in my life per se, but because I'm not used to the season stuff, I really don't like get into that. But I feel like I should start getting into that. So I have something that I'm looking forward to. Kind of like a hobby. I posted on my Instagram. Um, people please like recommend me fall activities. Oh, I said I need a fall activities before I fall apart. Yes, I'm dramatic. But I feel like people, well, YouTubers like I've been watching maya going back to maya beatrice like well she's in new york and she's able to like move around more she's in the city and i'm in stanford bubble like the place every place that i can go is literally limited to where my boyfriend is driving me to and it's like yes i could take the bus and go around palo alto but there's really nothing fun to do around here until unless i go to san francisco and even san francisco is not the most it's not the most interesting city or fun city to like venture around and i know like it's just so tiring in the hills and blah blah it's beautiful yes it's beautiful and like yes there are gonna be like four city things that i can do i wanted to do pumpkin i wanted to go to like a pumpkin farm i checked out the pumpkin farm they're closing tomorrow and it makes sense why didn't i think about it the whole october because i'm not into all this type of things but I wanted to, so the best I'm going to do for this video is try to record a lot of fall trees. Yeah. I feel like the next video might be better because I can prep for that more. This thing was better way hot. It's a little bit warm now and the cheese is not cheesing anymore. I give it a 7 out of 10. I think it's a 6.5. Maybe just 6 actually. Because I could still eat Domino's and like it when it's a tad bit warm. I don't like this one. But I'm going to eat it because I spent $11 on it. What was I saying? Mm. I was listening to autumn music. And I think I love I love this vibe so much because it's giving me cottage. I'm reading a book, but I can't read a book. I'm forced to read school book. I'm forced to study for school. I was born to just be in a cottage, core aesthetic, and read books all day and drink tea, and sometimes hot chocolate with marshmallow. I want hot chocolate with marshmallow. Yeah, but that's Christmas vibes. I don't care. I'll do more Christmas activities. Yeah. It's getting cold, yo. I'm starting to regret that I didn't bring my puffer jacket. Because when I'm heading back to my dorm, it's going to be chilly. Not chilly. It's going to be freezing, actually. I'm going to wash it. More of Maya video while I finish eating and get back into the space of doing work because I'm not gonna lie, I love being a studio student. Like, I usually don't feel challenged, not in that sense. Like, I usually don't feel like challenged as to see I love this challenge, I want to get into this challenge, and that's what I'm turning this stat 60 into. I know it's going to crash at some point, but. I'm studying. I'm doing yapping. People should just never give me windows. I get so distracted. Like, why am I watching people bike? And I just like watch people walking by and biking past.
want you guys to know that I am absolutely romanticizing the heck out of studying and I'm loving it. I am loving it. First of all, you guys know I hate coding, but my codes are running. They are running because what? I am taking notes as I am going. I know what the heck main median and motor, but I don't care. Because guess what? I don't even trust my knowledge anymore when it comes to coding. But I've been listening. I told you guys I've been listening to like, you know, autumn coded music. But look, like this is what's playing in my hair. I need to fall in love in like the, like this era, like this era of jazz, like Harlem, like, you know, like the rise of jazz, like black jazz, African-American jazz though. That's what I'm talking about. Like that rich essence, like I'm just tapping my way, you know, falling in love and then them skirt, um, the dressy, um, pleated skirt, somebody's swirling me around. That's the era that I deserve to fall in love in. Not in this stupid generation. Not, not, <laughs> this generation is just, love is <laughs> like, Kind of thing like yes they are cute love but i need i need the whole world to like fall in love with me like i need to i need everybody to know that i'm in love you know like like i'm i'm living in like a street like where everybody kind of know each other like me and this person everybody being known like we're eventually gonna fall in love or like it's just so random and love just found like it's either like a progressing kind of love or like a boom kind of love do you get what i'm saying but like it's it's like I need the whole street, the whole neighborhood to know that I'm in love because like we're doing cottage core type of shit. Now the world is too big. Everybody's on social media. Everything is being judged by social media. Even me, I'm being influenced by social media. I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like I just deserve That's, that's enough break for uh, studying. I'm going to get back to study. It's 5.56 and I'm here till 7.30. Hey, my loves. It is 7.31 actually. Just clocked out of work. But I came here to say that I have been eating up my chapters. I thought they were very difficult. That's why I was not getting into them. All I had to do was sit down and read. Because why am I getting everything right? Let's go see how many is left, honestly. Because this is starting to stress me out. Well, not stress me out, but like, this is so long. I thought I was going to be able to be done with it. This, see how chapter 7 is due this um, Friday. And I'm just finishing chapter 5. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. My dudes. My progress. Oh, how did I skip chapter four? I mean, page four. And this, oh, hold on. Let's go fix that. Apparently it's because I didn't hit submit for some of the questions, but I already answered them. I only have two more, um, chapters under well after two more sub chapters under chapter five i'm just gonna finish that before i go home and just try to complete chapter six this night also i'm trying to gonna finish chapter five before i leave here so let's do that because it's only my uh it's only the review question that is left so let's look in for that I'm gonna play, keep playing my Nat King Cole story. We are now in chapter six. Let's go look at that progress. What the hell? Um, what didn't I do now? What did not I do in chapter five? This always pisses me off. I probably missed a question. Try that again. Amen. Amen. So, 
I'm going to go start this one and try to get to 6.7 before I go to sleep. And hopefully I'm done with this one. I feel like if I really wanted to, I could do this tonight and know that I will be focused on this the weekend. But I heard chapter 6 was very difficult. But let's go back to my cozy little dorm. I just know it's just freezing outside. I know it. I know it. Well, I'm going to put on my little Nat Cole King and fall in love as I'm riding my scooter home. Let's do that right now. Or seven happy Halloween and I did say I wanted to finish this I mean I wanted to work on this to 6.6 .6. and I'm here to show you guys the proof I finished 6.6 .6. I'm gonna work on this tomorrow and hope I get started on this um by friday or over the weekend so i'm at least back on track but i am so proud of myself yeah here is the face of the culprit i okay okay that's true let's calm down let's calm down the music really has been helping me like stay active like it's like a good balance between i'm getting work done i'm i'm like hyped ish for work like i'm not too sleepy like the problem i have with um study music is they make me sleep they make me sleep and hype music makes me i mean like hip-hop music i know a lot of the lyrics so my head starts singing the lyrics and then i get frustrated because i'm reading one line one million times afrobeat is a no-go area for studying absolutely not you can never no no Horrible mix. It's a mix that just, just doesn't work well together at all. So I think jazz is like the perfect feel to my studying because it just gives me like the... I feel like it contrasts what I'm actually doing. So that's it gives a good balance at that point. I'm starting to feel my body like don't piss me off because I have a 9 a.m. tomorrow. So my body's telling me it's giving me in that should not piss, piss off. So I'm not going to piss off because I know getting up takes a lot for me and falling asleep also is a lot for me. I bought two cups of tea. So at least I'm hoping that um my tummy doesn't hurt or I don't get cramps. I've been having back cramps though for some weird reason, but um, I'm gonna go to sleep now. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, my loves. It's currently 8.33. I have a 9 a.m. class. I have a 9 a.m. class, but I'm gonna do a quick Bible study. And um, about 15 minutes and head to class. This is an IV, that makes sense. Okay, but this is my Bible, she's cute, that's why I read her. Well, that's not, <sighs> I just be talking, I just be talking honestly. I honestly just be talking, but the Bible is very cute. But I usually only use my what the heck. Is something spill on my Bible? I think something spill on my Bible. That might be my last straw for this week. What the heck? Something indeed spilled on my Bible. And now I'm pissed. It's just like very tiny. But whatever. I usually just read my Bible on my iPad. So I take notes. Because I'm not yet. I'm that type of person that is like, I don't, I don't, like, my Bible is like, growing up, you're not supposed to write anything you say, you say your Bible. Nobody told us that, but usually your Bible is just supposed to be clean. So I'm not used to, like, you know, 
um, highlighting my Bible, all the type of things. I just started doing it for like one of my Bible, but then the Bible got so old. I think it's still in Nigeria, honestly. But uh, what's it called? So I don't know how to do that on my. And this Bible is just pretty, and I don't want to write anything on it, but I need to not read Bible or classify it as cute. But it is very pretty. It's a very pretty Bible. And it's a study Bible, so it like walks you through everything. You see how big it is? Of course. So, anyways, if you just need a Bible recommendation, I was just trying to say this is a good. It's the Life Application Study Bible. Yeah, it's a study Bible. That's what I was trying to say. And it's NIV. A good eight minutes, and like my camera fell, and it did not recover the data. Like the the video did not save to the memory card. But I'll just give you guys update that I had my class. It was pretty good because um, it's my COM 108, which is research methods. It's statistic also. It's statistic in COM. So we also use our program, which is the coding program that we also use in Stat 60. And the chapters that I worked on yesterday, which is chapter 5, that I completed, was about mean, mode, um, range, median, blah, blah, blah. I was like in code that in R. And that was what we did in section today. So section was not bad like I was not confused like I knew what was going on and chapters 5 for course kata was not difficult but chapter 6 is not it's not as easy as chapter 5 but it's difficult but not like crazy difficult that I don't think I'll be able to do it but I'm still in 6.6 .6 and I need to finish juice and it's up until 6.14 or I think I think it's 6.13 actually I'm not gonna lie I think it's only up to 6.13 my goal today is to finish six chapter six the whole of chapter six and start chapter seven so i can at least um finish lab 3a because they're on lab 3c right now in class and i just started lab 3a so there is that and what have i done today i've eaten i've been craving so much Ugh. i've been hungry but i don't want the food at home anymore and I've been craving stuff and I'm wasting money buying stuff, but I know I should buy stuff for myself. And I feel so shitty because like my head hurts and I know it's just this stupid PMS and stuff. I just feel sad. I just feel sad and unmotivated. I don't know what to do with that. I just made my CAPS appointment also for therapy. And what else? I'm supposed to be meeting a friend to work on. Uh, a couple of our class stuff also so right now i'm gonna do my readings for com 100c i feel like the reading is like the article was written by my professor like that was our research so i feel like if we don't do it she's going to give us side eye i get comments about my lips like it's glossy but not like too glossy and i told you guys i use the lip oil the ruby kisses um lip oil I was looking at it in the mirror, I'm looking at it from the camera and I'm like, yeah, yeah, it's cute. I am sitting in front of Kupa, kind of like library, um, green library, and doing work. The sun is scorching this side of my face, but we're sitting in the sun and it's warm. I'm not freezing anymore, but I know the moment I leave the sun, I'm going to start freezing. So, here we are. I want matcha, but I don't know if I should get hot matcha or hot chocolate. Want to say hi to the tube? Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Mm -hmm. I look a flipping mess. Do not mind that. But it's uh, November 1. Happy New Month, my loves. Happy New Month. You're not getting this till like the second week of November, but still, Happy New Month. I, yesterday was my last day at my front desk job. I am so happy. So happy because this morning, I would have been dreading to go to work at night. But it's 8 a.m. and I'm still in bed. And I'm still going to take a nap till like 10. I do need to take my hair off. But I just came to say that I'm not going to work this morning. <laughs> I have my Fridays to myself. Well, I have a class at one thirty, but that does not that does not count. And I'm getting my dog. Well, I keep saying my dog. I'm dog sitting this weekend and the whole of next week actually. I just finished watching the video that is going up this weekend, and you guys are gonna love it. 
You guys are gonna love it. So yeah, I just came to yap about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, my loves, that's the end of our video. I eventually got myself up. It's... What time is it? It's 11.37 a.m. Um, I'm not going to my own 30 class. I'm going to tell somebody to send me the um, attendance code. Um, I have an allergy meeting, Zoom meeting at 3, I think. And um, what else? What else do I have? Oh, taking out my hair and receiving dog. But I'm ending this video here because I feel like I've recorded a ton lot already. And what's it called? I want to start a blow up with me or bring my hair with me video. That is the next video you guys are going to be getting. So literally, it's just continuation of my life because literally I'm starting this video. <laughs> In this same outfit. So if you guys see that, don't overthink it, okay? Don't overthink it. But if you've watched up to right now, I love you so much. I am so excited to always post videos now because you guys are getting active in the comments. And it just melts my heart. But I might look a mess, but I'm going to look better later. I love you guys so much. I love you guys so much. Do you understand that? I love each and every one of you guys so much. You guys are not just numbers to me. I might not know specifically who you are. Some of you guys, I know. But you're watching. I love you. But mm, I love you guys. See you guys later. Bye, my loves.